Mishke. So we're looking at the Turbo Slap Top from Meinl. This is the one with the pickup. I've had this one for five months and I absolutely love it. Unlike the traditional cajon, you sit on it and you have to bend forward to get to that playing surface. After a while, it can be quite sore in the back. This completely takes that away. It sits perfectly on the lap. It's playing surface is right where you need it. There's a lot of benefits to having this slap top over just the traditional and there's one or two from the traditional that you just won't find on this slap top let's have a look at what this is made of the main body is made up of birch it has that really really nice black finish as you can see there there's an opening on the bottom that's where the bass sound is going to come from and you're going to get two openings at the top for those higher tones so the playing surface here is walnut Walnut is a very nice wood for percussion. You can get some great sounds and tones out of it. I think the finish is nice and I found it a lot easier on the hands than playing a traditional cajon. Now two weeks ago for the first time it really bet up my hands. I brought it out for a wedding and the wedding turned out to be a very loud affair to what should have been a very quiet affair and as you can see this Instagram picture the number it did on my hands but I mean that was one time in five months and every time I play the traditional cajon, I would end up with something like this. So it is easier on the hands. And I think a lot of that um, is helped by the pickup. There's a pickup in this that will help you get those sounds that you need. There's an in and out 6.3 mono jack, and you can control the bass and snares. Now, there is a snare effect either side of the slap top, just this playing surface, and you can get the bass sound from the center. Now you're gonna hear a sound demo with an external mic. The external mic here is the Shure SM7B and in this demo you're going to hear both the internal uh, pickup as well as this external mic then it's going to go into just the internal pickup then you're going to get the external mic on its own then it's going to go back to hearing both of them have a listen So this is a lot of fun to play and in my opinion this is better in every way than the traditional cajon bar the bass. Now the bass is just something I haven't been able to get right. I don't know why it's it's like that. Maybe it's just the shape of the slap top in comparison to the box of the traditional cajon. Um, but I've just found the bass to be very, very short and not wide. So if you're looking for a boom, 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 you get that with the, fl with the, with the slap top, but a wider boom, boom from a traditional. Now, of course, all this changes when you are live. So if it's going through a PA, it's gonna sound completely different to what you just heard there. So have a listen to this other demo. It's me and my band playing. You're just gonna hear it through the PA, just recorded on an iPhone. Um, and you can hear what that sounds like in a live situation. I just remember we got a request from Van Morrison. Someone remind me to do This is a great instrument. I think it's worth every cent. It comes in just under 200 bucks and it's well worth it. You can be a lot more creative than playing the traditional cajon, playing the slap top. This is kind of in between bongos, uh, cajon and a conga. So you have a lot more options and it's just a lot more fun. It's also extremely handy with that pickup. I mean, I just literally waltz into the gig every week, put a jack in, jack into the mixer and off I go, I'm done. 
When I'm finished then, take the jack lead out, put it in the bag, put the cajon in the bag, and I'm finished. It's no, I don't need to bring an external mic or a stand. You can if you want, but you don't have to. I've been able to play many gigs with just that internal pickup. Um, one thing I will say is be careful when you buy a bag. This is a lot bigger than a traditional cajon, so be very, be very wary. I've heard horror stories of people buying a bag, thinking that they could fit this into a regular cajon bag, and you just can't. I'll leave a link in the description of where I got my bag, or the name of my bag, so you can just research it. But just be careful, because um, I know of a lot of people that have not been able to fit the cajon in a bag. Now there is the slap top bags, so you can have a look for them too, but with the supply chains and stuff, that I haven't been able to find any. Anyway, it's a very, very, very good uh, cajon. Um, I'll leave a link for it down in the description. Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, have a good one, bye bye.